What if the garden is a traveler's antithesis? What if the awoken can find in that garden a new place of balance, an equal potential between the darkness and the light? As the light brightens, the shadows deepen. Welcome back Guardians. Today I wanted to provide all the information I know about the Black Garden from Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 and I also want to present a theory about the Black Garden and Prince Aldrin. When researching this video I stumbled across an Osiris prophecy from the Curse of Osiris that I believe relates to Prince Aldrin and the Black Garden. Which is exciting because as many of you know Bungie hid a fair few secrets in the Curse of Osiris DLC such as the Telesto Law tab, which had a hidden message that spelt out Crow Untrustworthy Desires Power, which of course was a reference to the Forsaken campaign. So I'm going to tie all of this information together to help prepare for the new Black Garden raid in Shadowkeep. As usual, the artwork at the beginning of this video was provided by Gamma Trap. All Patreon donations go towards paying Gamma Trap for his artwork. See the Patreon link below and also links to Gamma Trap's Twitch, Twitter and YouTube. I don't take anything from Patreon, but if you'd like to support me, YouTube memberships are also available. Click the join button below or link in the description. This is Mylan Games and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. I want to start with a bit of a recap of the Black Garden lore from Destiny 1. So in Destiny 1, when we first met the Exo Stranger, the Exo Stranger warns us of the Black Garden, and it is mentioned multiple times that the Black Garden is the birthplace of the Vex. In the Destiny 1 mission, A Stranger's Call, we have the following conversation with the Exo Stranger. Exo Stranger. No, I was not forged in light. But I believe where our paths cross, ground could break. Have you heard of the Black Garden? Ghost. We've heard the legends. Stranger. The greatest threat to us all lies there, where these machines are born. Find the Black Garden, rip out its heart, only then will your traveller begin to heal. Guardian. Can you help us find it? Stranger. My path's my own, I can't. Ghost. If we're going to find the Black Garden, we need to see the Awoken. The Grimoire card of the same mission reinforces the Black Garden as the birthplace for the Vex. A Stranger's Call Grimoire card reads, The Ishtar Collective studied the Vex with all the instruments and power of the Golden Age, and we must understand the Vex if we are to survive. There are tales of the Black Garden and the darkness that lives at its heart. If this is where the Vex are born, then finding it is of the utmost importance. The Speaker In addition to being described as the birthplace of the Vex, in Destiny 1 the Black Garden was quite synonymous with the darkness itself. The heart of the Black Garden was the Dark Heart, and often associated with the darkness. For example, in the Awoken mission in Destiny 1, when we first meet Prince Aldrin, we have this conversation. I am a guardian from Earth. We're searching for the Black Garden. Why? We seek to destroy the darkness at its heart. The Black Garden mission also reads, We got the eye, we found the gate, we charged the eye, and Akora gave us her blessing. For what that's worth, nothing left but to face the darkness at the heart of the garden. I'm with you, guardian. All the way down. Ghost. When we complete the Black Garden mission and destroy the heart of the Black Garden, your ghost says this, We're back on Mars. The Shroud of Darkness is lifting and light returns to the Traveller. The Speaker is calling us home. Even later in Destiny's release, the Taken King still reinforces that the darkness is within the Black Garden. In the Taken Grimoire card, Ikora Ray associates Oryx's taking abilities with that of the Black Garden. And we know that Oryx got his ability to take from the darkness itself. Have a listen and I'll explain a bit more. The Taken Grimoire card reads, I have been talking to Eris about the Taken. She agrees that what we observe, the apertures, the starlight and of course the Taken entities is not Hive magic. If Hive Arcana is a metaphor, this is the meaning. If they make appeals, then this is a judge. Oryx wields this power. 
but Oryx did not make it. We faced the same flower we met in the Black Garden. When it says Oryx wields this power but did not make it, it is referring to how Oryx met with the darkness and learnt the power to take. And then when it says that this power is the same flower that we met in the Black Garden, this is a reference to Pujari's vision of the Black Garden, where he met a ghost-shaped flower. In my opinion, saying that Oryx's powers is the same as the Black Garden flower is basically associating the darkness with the Black Garden. There are a few more things that we know about the Black Garden from Destiny 1. We also know that it is not bound to space and time. We are told this by our ghost when we first enter the Black Garden, but also the sole device of Grimoire card says this. Beyond the towering Meridian Bay Gate lies the Black Garden, adrift in time and space, and within the garden dwell the Vex of the Soul Divisive, frozen in rapture. Pujari also describes a garden like this. The garden grows in both directions. It grows into tomorrow and yesterday. The red flowers bloom forever. Lastly, to round off this Destiny 1 lore Black Garden recap, the Black Garden was also meant to be linked to and related to the Vault of Glass. Somehow the Black Garden was meant to assist the Vex in the Vault of Glass. Have a listen to the Black Garden Grimoire card. It reads, At last. The heart of the garden has been destroyed, its stranglehold on the traveller released, our light brightens. But the power of the Vex is not broken, look into the vault, guardian, for it is said to hold the powers the progeny were meant to bring forth, the speaker. In addition, we know that the Vex worshipped whatever they found at the heart of the Black Garden. The sole divisive Grimoire card reads, Legends and scant field reports all indicate that the divisive Vex behave religiously. Why would a hyper-intelligent, time-spanning thought mesh exhibit religious behavior? The answer seems as obvious as it is chilling. If the Vex found worship and devotion more effective than any other behavior, they would adopt worship. Whatever the Vex found or made in the garden, it transcends even their power. So to summarize, the Exo Stranger warned us of the Black Garden, described it as the birthplace of the Vex, described the darkness at its heart, it doesn't exist in space and time, and it was somehow linked to the Vault of Glass, and what the Vex wanted to accomplish within the Vault. The Vex also worshipped the heart to somehow use its power. Now, take all of this with a grain of salt, because some of this is about to change with the Destiny 2 lore that was introduced with Forsaken. If you're new to Destiny and you are confused, it is okay. This is exactly why Destiny 1's story was criticized. We never really understood how all these different elements related to each other. We didn't really understand the significance of the Black Garden, and technically, we still don't. So, if Shadowkeep expands upon the lore of the Black Garden, it will sort of be the conclusion to the Destiny 1 campaign. But let's get back on track. When Forsaken was released, we had a ton of new lore about the Black Garden and Prince Aldrin. And once you understand that, you can actually go back to the Curse of Osiris DLC and read some of Osiris' prophecies, which now make sense. So let me talk you through all this information, the prophecy and how it may relate to Shadowkeep's raid. The lore book, The Forsaken Prince, was released with Forsaken and is essentially broken into two parts. The first part describes Aldrin entering the Black Garden for the first time, and the second part describes the events just prior to Forsaken, with Fickrell's resurrection by Aldrin and Aldrin's corruption. I think the structure of this book is very intentional and pivotal for this theory. So in the first half of the law book, Aldrin convinces a crow, i.e. an awoken agent named Jolion, to venture into the Black Garden. At this stage, nobody has been into the Black Garden that we know of, although I suspect Mara maybe has, because she knows a lot about the Black Garden. But despite people not visiting the Black Garden, people know about it, people know of its existence, and Queen Mara Sov has forbidden any Awoken to enter the Black Garden. One of the first things you will notice in the lore book is Aldrin's complete character change. The way he speaks, he is jovial, cheerful, and very much not the Aldrin we know. 
Have a listen to the first entry, The Length of a Chain, Part 1. It reads, Jolion, my man, Aldrin Sov whispers, you and I are going to take the Black Garden. Oh yeah? Jolion, Till the Rackus, famous among crows, sniper, scout, and teller of tales, lies full sprawl prone at Aldrin's side. The scrubbed down length of a supremacy rifle snugged against his shoulder nearly doubles his height. I heard you and I were going to float satin in a bathtub. I'm serious, Joel. Can you imagine Aldrin saying, Yo, my man, to anyone? Once again, I think this is very intentional and important for this theory, so keep this in mind for later. So despite the Queen forbidding any Awoken to enter the Black Garden, Aldrin and Jolion attempt to enter the Black Garden. The gate to the garden is on Mars like it was for us. It is at this point where we get our first explanation to why the Black Garden is referred to as the Vex's birthplace. As Prince Aldrin and Jolion approach the gate, the law entry called Through the Gate reads, Out of that aperture emerges the behemoth silhouette of a Vex gate lord, metal and mind crashing together, self-assembling, ready to defend this secret place. The Vex are born here, in the sense of baptism, consecrated to the service of some terrible purpose that the machines found within. So this law entry basically says that the Black Garden was not the physical birthplace of the Vex, but it is more like their place where they were baptized, reborn, so to speak. This is important for Shadowkeep because it begins to separate the Vex from the Black Garden. The Vex didn't make the Black Garden, they were not born there, they found it, they worshipped it, they tried to use it, but the Black Garden is its own entity. Okay, so Prince Aldrin and Jolion trick the Cabal on Mars into destroying the Vex Gate Lord, and that is how they enter the Black Garden through the gate on Mars. Once inside, they discover the Vex have been trying to tame the Black Garden. Aldrin describes aspects of the garden that have circuit boards and microchips, and this is when the Vex are referred to as the Gardeners. Have a listen. They move down the length of the chasm, green mist swirling overhead, ankle deep in a wet compost of flower petals and rich black soil. Wide flat beetles and arcing horns wrestle in the earth. Aldrin flips one on its back. The beetle has no interior. Seen from below, it is just a hollow shell. Jolion pulls up on a fern, and its roots are the branching metallic threads of a circuit board. Tiny squirming things shaped like wet microchips mill in the exposed soil. I don't like this place, Jolion whispers. We should get back to the surface. He means the garden's surface, the manicured sectors of red flowers that stretch away toward a distant mesa. But it's far too vex up there, Aldrin thinks. They've been in here, gardening, moving earth, making walls, building their ancient constructs of stone and light, trying to tame this place. Now, this is not the first time the Vex have been referred to as gardeners. In Pujari's vision of the Black Garden, he too refers to the Vex as the gardeners. Have a listen to the legend of the Black Garden Grimmel card. It reads, There are gardeners now. They came into the garden in vessels of bronze, and they moved through the groves in rivers of thought. Now, this is a little bit confusing because Rasputin calls the Traveller the gardener. In the Warmind comic book, Rasputin calls the Traveller the Gardener, and in the Ghost Fragment Mysteries Grimoire card, I believe Rasputin once again calls the Traveller the Gardener. I do not know the significance of this, if any, why the Vex and the Traveller are referred to as gardeners, but at least within the context of the Black Garden, the Vex are the gardeners. They are trying to tame the Black Garden. Aldrin and Jolion continue their journey into the Black Garden and they discover a Cabal expedition force and also the heart of the Black Garden. Aldrin communicates with an injured Cabal that they interrogate and Aldrin communicates through a translator device. The Cabal says that the Vex abducted him and how the Vex are trying to interact with the Garden and become vessels for the power of the Black Garden. The On the Hunt entry reads... The Vex are singing to see how the garden changes their song, 
and even this conversation has fertilized the air. Why are they here? What do they want? They come here to pray, sir. They're making vessels out of themselves. They're the worst things ever to be, sir. They ate existence. How do you know this? Oh, from the seeds, sir, the legionary says. Do you see them? Of course, we see this come true in the Destiny 1 campaign. We see the soul progeny absorb this essence from the heart of the Black Garden. The Vex are trying to become a vessel for whatever is at the heart of the Black Garden. After saying, do you see the seeds, sir, the Cabal soldier then removes its helmet, killing itself and revealing a horrible truth. The Black Garden planted seeds in the Cabal soldier's head. Have a listen. Oh, from the seeds, sir, the legionary says. Do you see them? And without hesitation or second thought, he punches the emergency medic release on his helmet. The pressure seal breaks and a ring of black gel sprays out, hissing. The legionary slumps over, his helmet tumbles into his broad lap. Beneath the layer of gel, the whole surface of his skull has a pitted texture of a strawberry. Thousands of tiny seeds glisten in the cabal's flesh. Aldrin brushes the skin in fascination. Aldrin, Yolan radios, I really don't like the expression on your face. This place has secrets. The prince murmurs back. The bone mic feels cold and inorganic, poorly matted to his flesh compared to the warm, close-packed pits for Legionary's deformed skull. So many secrets. They grew in him, Jolan. The garden grew its secrets in him. So in my opinion, this shows that the Black Garden can infect beings, can plant seeds and things, can physically change and harm you. Going to the Black Garden is dangerous. To further this point, I want to remind you how Pujari's vision of the Black Garden created a cut in his hand that never healed. The legend the Black Garden Grimoire card reads, When my ghost raised me from the sea, there was a thorn cut in my left hand, and it has not healed since. When Prince Aldrin leaves the Black Garden and returns to Marasolf, he begins to have these wild hallucinations, almost like he has been infected by something. Marasov demands for Aldrin to answer if he saw the heart of the Black Garden, but she cannot get a straight answer from him. The law entry after the heart, part two, reads, Aldrin, Mara shaking him. She does not ordinarily touch anyone. Did you see the heart? It seems the most natural thing in the world that a garden should have a heart. The Vex infest the place, he says. It gives them something they crave. It grows them toward what they want to be. You didn't answer the question, Mara says coolly. It's a perfectly sensible observation. It's the strangest thing Aldrin has ever heard her say. Whatever the heart of the place is, he says pacing, it's a seed. I think a seed left behind to grow, like a node of glimmer or the idea strikes him as a thunderbolt or a tripwire bait to attract those who seek out and destroy what they don't understand. Bait for guardians. Bait to make some milestone in the Traveler's recovery. Now this passage is really important. It helps to confirm that the Vex are chasing and trying to obtain the power from the Black Garden. But it also introduces the idea that the heart of the Black Garden is a seed, something left behind to grow. But what is it? Well, I think it is a seed from the darkness. It is the darkness itself left to grow and establish. Aldrin actually starts to think the same way and even says this to Jolion. In the lore entry called Jolion, it reads, What if the garden is the traveler's antithesis? What if the awoken can find in that garden a new place of balance, an equal potential between the darkness and the light? As the light brightens, the shadows deepen. Aldrin is basically saying what the Traveller is to the light, the Black Garden is to the darkness. The Black Garden is the direct opposite of the Traveller. Now, this is where our theory can finally start forming. If the heart of the Black Garden is a seed of the darkness and can infect anyone who enters the Black Garden, 
What if this was the source of Aldrin's corruption? When he first ventured into the Black Garden, a seed was planted in him that slowly corrupted him, leading up to the events of Forsaken. This would also explain Aldrin's drastic change in personality. Prior to entering the garden, Prince Aldrin was jovial, was humorous, was likable. Remember that in Forsaken, Prince Aldrin already has the darkness literally in his eyes. He has been corrupted, and we never quite knew how Aldrin was corrupted. That being said, I have made theories about Aldrin's corruption before. There are two in-game dialogue lines that hint at Prince Aldrin being taken by Oryx, or at least partially taken by Oryx, seeping the darkness into him, and this could have happened when the Awoken battled Oryx. Alternatively, Riven was also causing Aldrin to have hallucinations, but I don't think Riven was causing his corruption, but more or less taking advantage of his corruption. So what I want to suggest is this theory. What if Aldrin's original corruption started as a seed, as a darkness seed planted in him when he first visited the Black Garden, and that seed did not blossom until Forsaken? Now I'm going to talk about the Osiris prophecy, which may have predicted this very shortly, but the other reason why I say Aldrin was corrupted by the Black Garden comes down to the structure of the law book, The Forsaken Prince. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it has two parts. The first part talks about Aldrin visiting the Black Garden, and the second part is when Aldrin is corrupted and revives Fickrel, literally using the darkness. Was the book structure like this to link these two events together? To say to the reader, this is how Aldrin started the journey, started his corruption, and this is how it ended. Remember that Aldrin's corruption is represented by the darkness clouding his eyes, and have a listen to how Aldrin's eyes are described in the Severance law entry in the same book. It reads, Ah, Aldrin says, careful to keep his voice light. Yes, of course. The itch in his eyes resumes, and he discovers that he has a new desire, a new thing he fiercely wants. Now, of course, Aldrin had the darkness drained from him when trying to free Riven in Forsaken. And then we killed Aldrin, and then Aldrin was resurrected as a guardian. So we may never know if Aldrin was tainted by the Black Garden when he first visited the garden. However, thinking about Shadowkeep, thinking about the raid in the Black Garden, thinking about how Aldrin has been revived but has not appeared in game yet, there is definitely a lot of potential for Shadowkeep to unravel how Aldrin was corrupted by the darkness in the Black Garden. Regardless to Prince Aldrin and the Black Garden, I think with the information that we currently have, we can use this information to predict what will happen in Shadowkeep. My bet is that it is the darkness in fact at the heart of the Black Garden, and the darkness will choose its champions for the Shadowkeep raid. Basically very similar to how we ended the Destiny 1 campaign all those years ago. The Black Heart used the Soul Progeny. In this case, it's going to be some other champions, but we're going to do a full circle coming back to the original Destiny 1 campaign. If you've not seen my video about Osiris' prediction of the darkness, please feel free to watch that because that theory fits nicely with this theory. Osiris basically says in the new comic book that the darkness will choose its champions. And now I'm thinking that the heart of the Black Garden is where the darkness is, and that is what will choose its champions. So finally, when talking about Osiris, when I was researching this video, I stumbled upon an Osiris prophecy that I don't think people have been talking about, and it relates to the Black Garden. So the Traveler's Judgment 5 law tab says this. How to interpret the lost prophecies. The theory in vogue right now with the followers of Osiris is that the first five verses refer to the Black Garden, the coming of Gaul, the Traveler's Awakening, and Gaul's subsequent defeat. Now obviously we are interested in the first lost prophecy about the Black Garden. Now you can read the lost prophecies as either an item, or you can also find them on the flavor text of the Curse of Osiris weapons. The Garden Progeny 1, which contains the first prophecy, reads, Two siblings, cleaved by time and space, reflections never found alone, the ending of the Eldritch race, a path long seen but never known. This makes sense, 
Two siblings, i.e. Marasov and Prince Aldrin, cleaved by time and space, i.e. the Black Garden is not on any map of time and space. The weapon is called Garden Progeny. Progeny means descendant, i.e. this description is about the descendant of the Garden. Is Aldrin Sov the descendant of the Black Garden? Did he carry the seed of darkness? Of course, the second line is extremely interesting, the Eldritch Race. It is only ever mentioned in this one lore tab. I have no idea what this is about. This could be the darkness race itself. Is this what the heart of the Black Garden was trying to restore? I don't know. But I can tell you, after seeing this prophecy and researching this video, I am very excited to see what happens with the Shadowkeep raid within the Black Garden. And I hope this has helped you to understand more about the Black Garden. And with that, that concludes this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, you can leave the word seed to represent the theory that Prince Alden was implanted with a darkness seed that blossomed during Forsaken. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Marlon Games. Peace.